Monday morning, 7.20am, I've got a busy day ahead and I'm actually just sitting outside uh, one of the merchants picking up some materials, uh, they open in about 10 minutes. I've just got a quick phone call to make at one of the other merchants uh, to order some materials, one of the guys is going to pick that up once I've ordered that up. Um, once I've left here, I'm going to head up to my place in Forfar, up to my yard there, uh, we've got some tools and whatnot to pick up there, uh, we've got some eBay orders to pick and pack and we're going to check on our rocks as well. It's now 7.45, uh, I've been waiting here for about 20-25 minutes now and the place still isn't open, they're supposed to be open at half past seven. Now the other merchants that I'm trying to call as well, they open at half past seven, I've been trying to call them uh, since half past seven and no answer. So this is just bloody typical and this is uh, a good example of a Monday morning. Uh, it doesn't matter how well you plan your day out, uh, things like this occur and it knocks you back a little bit. You know, I'm now sitting here, it's quarter, quarter two, ten to eight now, um, and I'm sitting here 20 minutes late now for my day, you know, so um, there's actually no sign of these guys here. I've tried the door a couple of times, uh, I've tried calling, um, and there's just, just no sign of them. So I'm just going to have to wait about until they open up, I'm afraid. Uh, could I order um, some materials and one of the guys will come and pick it up, please? Yeah, I'm looking for uh, 12 lengths of 2 by inch and a half. And a second. Yeah, one length of black uh, PVC architrave, uh, 45 mil. Just the one, yeah? Yeah, please. Is that everything for you? Yeah, that's all just now, thanks. Right, so we're £94.07 in total. Yeah, you just want to read out your long card number? So the first couple of tasks I've done are out the way. Uh, I'm now in my yard in Warford here. Um, just to open up our eBay container, get some of the eBay orders from the weekend, picked and packed, and we can get them out to the post office later today. Got seven orders, eight items to pack now. That's all picked, and we we'll just start getting them into their into their packaging. Smaller items like this are nice and easy. Slip them into an envelope. Boom. There we go. Next one. DVD. I'll get these ones all, all packaged up, we'll get the postage labels printed on them and that's them ready to drop off at the post office. So that's all the eBay orders picked, packed printing labels and ready to drop off at the post office later today and um, we had a parcel that through the gate that I got here this morning so let's open this up and see what else we've got this might be yeah more bottles so uh, it's actually 
a load of small glass bottles here uh, with a little cork on them. Uh, this is for an upcoming project. It's not something we're needing just now, but I'm just getting ready. All will be revealed soon. So let's go and check on the rocks now. Okay, so the rock, rock tumbler's finished. Let's turn this off at the wall now because we're not actually going to put another batch in just yet. We're waiting on more grit coming in. But what we can do is get this barrel opened and get the stones all cleaned out and uh, we can see what they look like. I'm hoping that stem stone's finished or those rocks finished and we can start doing uh, the next stage on them. So this is what the, the rocks look like when they're wet and that is the kind of finish, the nice shiny finish that we're looking for uh, when they're dry. But putting it through the rock tumbling process has certainly took a lot of the, the dirty things off them, uh, has definitely cleaned them up. Uh, I'm just hoping this is uh, a good enough polish for us to take them take them to the next stage and start doing something else with them now so let's get them over to the bench let's get a couple of them dried up that one's not a great shiny finish it still looks a wee bit matte um, but I'm new to this and not all rocks shine up properly see I would say that still needs that's been cleaned which looks pretty nice, but I still think it's not shiny enough. It definitely needs more polish. So, uh, what we did is we just used the grit and the polish that we've actually got with the, the rock tumbler, which isn't supposed to be the best quality stuff, unfortunately, and I am just waiting on a new batch coming in, which I think may be at the post office ready for us to collect. If it is, we'll collect it this morning and we'll come back tomorrow morning uh, and we'll get these rocks back on the, the, the second last or the last stage. They've actually come up not too bad, but I would expect them to be, to look better than that. I think. As I say, I'm completely new to this really too sure what I'm doing with it yet. This is just a bit of an experiment. Yeah, they're, they're going to need to go back in for Let's do the second to last stage and then the last stage again. Yeah, I'm not going to waste too much more time with these today because, as I say, they're all going to need to go back into the rock tumbler anyway. There's still some in there. Uh, this is the ones that have came out of the, the tumbler. As you can see, they're not not as shiny as we'd like them to be. So we'll get it back in for another couple of stages. Uh, we'll have to grab some extra silicons, fixings, um, a couple of other tools just to get us going for today. And that's done. I think that's everything we need to do at the yard now. So I've just pulled up to today's job. It's now about 10 o'clock. 
I'm definitely at least an hour behind schedule, but that's Monday mornings for you. I like to get my, all my tasks done early and get to the job early, but sometimes it doesn't always happen in plan, so I'm just sticking my work trousers on now. <laughs> We'll get into the job, we'll have a look, see what's needed done, and we'll get cracking on for the day. We're just heading around to the scrap yard with a load of scrap there. Uh, this is all from my yard, well, it's actually my new yard, which is my old yard as well. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is all a lot of scrap from it. There's two or three loads to take away from there. It's a bit of a mess since I moved out. I've not been, uh, I've not been in that yard for about six, uh, no, geez, near about eight years now. Uh, and I'm, my dad's, my dad's still a tenant there, so uh, I'm moving back in basically with him. Uh, just trying to cut costs at the moment. We've got a lot of big changes going on. So let's nip round the scrappies. Uh, we'll get this tipped off, and then that should be the last job of the day. Well, the scrappies is supposed to close at five o'clock. It's quarter two, and uh, there's nobody there. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. We're down at Dundee Docks. Uh, I'm just going to have to leave my trailer here. Saves me taking it all the way home. Uh, I might go and pick my daughter up from her dancing class as well. So uh, I don't really want to be carting this trailer about too much more. Uh, so yeah, basically, just a way to take the trailer off, leave it here for the night. Uh, the scrapyard opens at half past seven in the morning, so I'll be here for about seven o'clock, hitched up the trailer uh, and ready to, ready to tip this load at half past seven. Definitely taking a bit of a chance leaving it there overnight, but as I say, it saves me taking the trailer home. Let's just hope it's still there in the morning eh? Well guys, that's Monday, pretty much done and dusted as far as work goes anyway. I'm just sitting outside my daughter's dancing, waiting to pick her up, so I'm waiting to make a start editing this video. But it's been uh, a pretty good day, considering it's a Monday. Mondays are usually pretty challenging. Uh, there's not been any major problems or anything today, so we've got on pretty well. Got all my jobs ticked off my list that I was wanting to do. Um, apart from obviously dropping the scrap off there, that was a little bit of an inconvenience because we'll have to go back there tomorrow morning to get that dropped off. Now, I've been thinking over the weekend uh, what I'm going to be doing here. I'm at, I'm at a bit of a, uh, bit of a crossroads in life, maybe. Um, a bit of a transition with work, certainly. I've made a lot of big changes recently. I'm not doing my normal work that I would usually be doing. Uh, I mean, I'd usually be in the office most of the day, most days, um, but things, uh, we've, we've made a lot of changes recently. So uh, now I'm back on the tools. Uh, we're, we're doing up my new slash old yard. Uh, I wait to move out the yard that I'm currently in and for for as well in the next in the next three weeks. So I've got quite a bit of work uh, lined up, and I'm going to and I'm going to video the whole lot uh, and take you guys along in the journey. I'm basically rebuilding my uh, my life at the moment, or certainly my work life. Uh, I'm definitely rebuilding. See a lot of big changes going on. Um, I'll probably go more into detail as the videos go on. Uh, but this is the first of a series of videos. Uh, I was having to think over the weekend what I'm going to do here uh, because I've been wanting to make uh, YouTube videos consistently for for years now, uh, for about three years, maybe even four years now. I've been wanting to do this, uh, and I've, I've always had a hurdle. There's going to be right. I'll start next month once I've got this camera, or I'll start the the month after when I've got the yard, or I'll start the month after because this is happening, uh, and it just it, it just doesn't seem to happen. You know what I mean? Um, so I've made the decision at the weekend there. We're going to do daily vlogs. Um, definitely Monday to Friday anyway, because I'll be able to uh, do the videos when I'm at work. I'm not too sure about the weekends. I, I tend to not work a Saturday and a Sunday, because uh, I like to spend that time with my, with my girls and my family. So um, I'm thinking 
there may be different style of videos on a Saturday and a Sunday. There may not be a video on a Saturday and Sunday. I'm not 100% how this is going to pan out, but certainly we're going to have at least five videos a week, aiming for seven. Uh, and my, my goal is to, to do this for a week, a month, but actually six months is the main goal but i'm just setting myself little goals and little targets the reason being if you set yourself smaller goals smaller targets you hit them and that gives you the enthusiasm that gives you the go the energy the drive to, to then hit the next target so rather than saying yeah we're going to do daily vlogs for six months i've decided we're going to do daily vlogs for a week uh, and that's going to be a lot easier to accomplish a week's goal than it is six month goal because that's a lot a lot longer you know so this is the first of the first of the daily vlogs i hope you enjoyed this guys uh, please hit subscribe because this is it's basically a brand new channel i think we've only got two or three videos out on this channel so far over the last couple of months so please hit subscribe and i'll catch you guys tomorrow